Hello, welcome to another one of my tutorials. This one is going to be composite video output. Uh, well, it's going to be a mimic of stereo audio. It's actually going to be mono, but we're going to be splitting it into two channels. So, essentially, it'll come out stereo speakers. So, yeah. Um, basically, we've got some points on the back of here. We've got an audio point and we've got a video point, and then we can use any trace around here, around the edge, to get a good ground. Right. I was looking at some tutorials and some schematics, some other Sigma System 2s, but they all said that they used a Sony chip. Turns out mine doesn't. It uses a Fujitsu MB3514. So if we zoom in, I'll show you what chip I mean. That one. Mine's a Fujitsu. If yours looks like that, if you look on it, it'll have a little F and then it will say MB3514. If yours says that then just follow this tutorial otherwise there's a multitude of tutorials out on the internet right so if you've got a mb3514 then you want to just follow me you flip it over and we're looking at the top look is the rf output and right, we'll just come down it's these here this one's a video i've wrote on it with some indelible ink and then this point here is for the audio which we're going to be splitting into two. We could essentially amplify these signals, but they don't need to be amplified. The only time you're going to need to amplify these signals is if you're doing an RGB output, you know, with, uh, you know, like the Sigma Drive 1's got, where it's got that eight pinned in or whatever it is. Well, you could actually put one on here. You could get completely get rid of the RF modulator and then just replace it with a DIM plug. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to get composite because that's what's useful for me so let's go on to the soldering all we're going to need for this is some red wire at the minute we we'll just need two to solder onto the contacts on the board you need some solder of course and you need a soldering iron a bit of solder just dropped onto the board then that's not good but we want a soldering iron and we want to get these as neat as possible on the board so preferably as small as possible the wires that we're tin you want to just touch the contact with a bit of solder. There we go. Lift the contact up a little bit. Okay, that's video one on. Same with the audio, it's in the wire. Put on the board. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so now we've got the video and the audio on. Uh, we can go to attaching the phono sockets to the case and then trying it out, but I'm not going to attach them to the case yet. I want to actually try it out first, so yeah. Okay, so people, as you can see, here we've got the phono connector. We've got it grounded as well. Basically, I'll show you where it's grounded. Um, I just grounded it to the, which is where the RF modulator is grounded. And then obviously we've got the video output and we've got the audio output. I haven't connected the audio yet because I was too excited to see if I could see if this video output was even working because just a minute ago it wasn't working and I realised that I hadn't screwed the ground on so now it's on we'll put the power connector in make sure you don't touch any electronics when you're doing that you might get zapped and as you can see we've got the red wire of this red and white follow it up as you can see it's going into the front of the telly I'm not using the white because no audio yet and if we switch it on, because it's the master system too, it's got Sonic built in. <laughs> As you can see, Sega logo. And then Sonic. The only problem is, um, there's a bit of washout on some of the text. You might be able to see it there. So I'm basically going to attach the um, audio, uh, solder it on, and then we should be good to go. We now have the phono jacks installed inside the case. Use my favourite tool, a Dremel. <laughs> and mounted these inside these are panel mounted phono jacks i got 12 for three pound 97 off ebay 
uh, they are from a UK seller so they came really quick and so yeah I've got them there we've got the grands across all three of them which all go to a single grand point on the board then we've got the two audios and then the video um, I've only got one the single mono audio off the board but it goes to both these jacks here as you can see there's a jumper across the two and that will just emulate stereo because it doesn't even have stereo anyway so we're just splitting mono basically so that's all we've got we've got no RF lead in the back um, I forgot to put the cover back on the RF modulator but I'll do that later so plugging in the power now obviously it's got built in sonic because it's a mass system too sounded like a good sound to me and it's on 50 hertz at the minute I switch it to 60 hertz if you've watched my other tutorial you'll know how to do the 50 60 hertz switch there we go 60 hertz now you see full screen non full screen full screen <laughs> and there you go that's RCA on the Sigma Mass System 2 See, no other cables whatsoever, just apart from these. You'll find a list to all the parts and tools required for this tutorial in the description. Send me a message if you need some help. Send me an email at jawsykiller at nottinghamufo.com. Add me on Facebook, Jordan Norman. You'll know it's me because I've got the Jaws Killer logo as my profile picture. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe above me if you haven't already subscribed. And once again, thanks for watching.